What do you folks? It's a tall turtle here. Welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. We're going to do some more fauna today. So what you do is you go into your world map, flight setup stuff, you type in fauna, and then you get all the animals. Fauna doesn't just mean animals, though. It means animals in their natural environment. So we've already done a flight with flamingos, and we already did a flight with grizzly bears. So that leaves geese, seagulls, elephants, giraffes, and black bears. So today I'll see if we'll look for the uh, giraffes. Let's look for giraffes. What we're going to do is we're going to go down here. We're going to find giraffe. I saw some, but I'm trying to start at the top. And then we're going to see what's easiest to get to, basically. And we're going to change the time so we can um, see what's going on. There we go. And over here. So there's giraffes here. That's your home base, but they wander. Um, Where's there an airport, though? Is this an airport? What's this? No. Um, let's get rid of that. Then there are no airports around here. There's an airport down there. How far is that though? That might, yeah, that's too far. Um, so there are different ways to do this. We could start a flight right here in the air, just right there and find them. But that's no fun. I like to find an airport and fly to them, but I don't see any airports that are that close. So let's find a different spot for giraffes, like the Blue Nile. Okay, that's closer to an airport. We have an airport here. What's this? There's a stadium there. Okay, so, okay, how far do you think that is? This is five nautical miles, so if we drag this over, that's about five, ten, about fifteen nautical miles. Let's do that. Let's do these giraffes. Now, you could set a point to go to it. You could start here. You can slew, but I don't like doing that. We're going to start at an airport. So first of all, I'm going to do is memorize with my head where this is. So basically, if we take off, and what's the runway? Okay, if we take off perpendicular to the runway, look for the stadium, and then just head whatever degree that's going to be, and keep going, we should be able to find them. Oh boy, I have a feeling that might be a tough one. But it's only... There are only like two or three draft options, and this is the closest to an airport. So that's what we're going to do. So let's hop in our A5, because that's what we do with these. Is our Icon A5, which I can't remember where that is. Can I search? Can I go Icon? You can. Okay. And our livery is going to be the green monster thing. Voyager green. ATC options are always the same. There we go. Um, we need to set this as the departure actually you want to set parking as departure there we go uh, world weather what's it looking like I want to know what it is though we'll find out when we load the flight uh, well it's kind of dark though let's make it yeah bright daytime whatever we got an airplane we know what we're doing there's the weather 29 and 3 knots that's easy peasy lemon squeezy um, we know we are, we know the weather, we know the aircraft, we're going to head off for these giraffes. And we're going to get some achievements on the way, I think, because we're going to use a smart cam within 550 yards of these guys, which is 0.27 nautical miles for three seconds. We'll get an um, achievement for that. We will do the same thing here to add towards our achievement for that. And that's it, let's fly. Alright, so here we are, we're going to take the drone out and have a look around. Got the gorgeous scenery, totally different train than what we've been doing so far. How cool is this? Um, I'm trying to slow the camera down. There we go. No, slow down more. There we go. That's too slow. There we go. Um, we do have um, points of interest markers turned on like that. That way we can find things. Eventually we'll turn them off, but they're kind of fun to have. Um, otherwise, looks gorgeous. Looks like we're going to find some drafts and some hills today just beautiful let's put the drone away there we go let's hop inside um i guess we need to check this for this because i can't remember how to do it accurately well is this one of my favorite aircraft i love this thing oh uh, let's see here after cockpit entry all electrical equipment off yeah master switch on i think that's down here yes it is fuel valve is that up here it is open there it is nice all right engine start strobes on strobe is there 
throttle crack it open a little bit can't see it but it's there see down there well tick that tick that ignition start is it this one come on start there we go whoops i gotta turn it on on my yoke too i think yeah there we go okay oil pressure monitor in the green let's bring that way down engine run up um 2,500 or more until alternator goes off, which I think it is off already, isn't it? Do all the dummy lights work? Yeah, and it's off. Okay, good. Exterior lights as required. Now we'll do... Yeah, what's this thing? Oh, it doesn't work. Okay. doesn't work. There's a water rudder, which we would put down if we run water. All right. Retard to idle. We did. And that's it. Okay. That's what we get for a checklist. Okie dokie. What do we get for traffic? Ground services. Ooh. No ground services. Okay. Oh, yes. Hang on. Wait. Maybe we do. Ground services. Are there any new ground services to get the... No. To get the achievement? No. Boy, this is slow. Come on. There we go. Request taxi... Depart straight out. Um, we want to go to the southeast, so let's say depart east. From here, dark ground, Turtle Sook, Tango, Sierra, 4105, ready to taxi departure to the east. Turtle Sook, Tango, Sierra, 4105, taxi to and hold short of runway 22 via taxiway. Contact tower on 118 decimal tree when ready. All right. Taxi to runway 22. So we can go over here and zoom in. Is that going to tell us 22? I think I can move it with this. That's 4, so 22 is here. So we are going to turn around and back taxi, basically. That's pretty easy. I love this thing, by the way, once you learn how to use it. Alrighty, simple enough. Let's go into our taxi view. Let's take out the parking brake. And let's go around these folks. Come on. Um, parking brake? Parking brake? What am I doing wrong? Hang on. Why am I stuck? Why am I stuck? Parking brake is off. Parking brake is off. Let's try that again. Come on. There we go. Weird, I do like three times. Okay, let's hop back outside. Very nice. And let's watch this guy's head. He's ducking for us. Thank you. And let's um head out. Do we run away to back taxi? Because it doesn't look like there's an actual taxiway. And we will see drafts in this episode. It's just a matter of how much do I have to fly and how much do we have to edit out. Those are the big questions. Alright, let's hop inside for a second. Do we have flaps? We do have flaps. I can't remember if you take off them or not. I watched the real life icon videos on how to fly this thing. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, but I have to watch them again to incorporate in real life. Alright, let's hop down here super fast. Let's do landing lights now. This is going to be on. And now this is going to be on the way. Smart camera will bring us to the active runway. The approach of the active runway. So we can see if anybody is coming and nobody is coming. It also helps to tell you what the actual runway is. We don't know. All right, let's see. Any when you do the tower ground. Uh, contact tower when ready. Whoops, I should have done that. But there's nothing to ground to talk to. Okay, well we're on tower one eighteen three. There's nothing to do, so we're just gonna back taxi and um hang out at 22 until it tells us they're ready to go, I guess. Looks like your airport elevation is almost 6,000 feet. And then I, um, prop back mixture doesn't do anything, so this does have like an auto mixture type thing, I guess. Which is nice, because bringing back the mixture for high altitude doesn't do anything. Alright, let's watch where we're going though, geez louise. And then we'll turn around and see if it tells us we can take off. Alright, lots of room to turn around, but I want to trigger autopilot to tell us 
that we want to take off because we have the tower tuned in. So any day now we should get an option for takeoff. I guess not. Hello? We're waiting. We are holding short of runway 22. There we go. Parking brake. Request takeoff clearance. From here, Dar Tower Turtles of Tango Sierra 4105 at runway 22 ready for takeoff departure to the east. Turtles of Tango Sierra 4105 cleared for takeoff runway 22 east departure approved. And acknowledge that. And hide that. All of our lights are set, flaps are set, blah, blah, blah. All right, we're going to aim for the stadium, and then we're going to aim for the animals, which I assume are along that river, now that I see there's a river there. So let's get going. Oh, there we, oh boy, don't stall out now. All righty. Everything is full. Now we're gaining speed, now we're gaining speed. See, if we bring back mixture, our RPMs don't go up. So we're just going to keep the way it is. We just have a long, long um, takeoff here. Takeoff roll. Takeoff roll because of the altitude. Oh, the wind has blown us a little bit. Ready to... There we go. Step on the brakes. Gear coming up. Flaps coming up. Right? Yes. Oh gosh, it's so hard to fly from the outside in this sim. Wow, okay, let's keep our our altitude going. There's no VSI, it's angle of attack you gotta look at. In the top center there. Okie dokie, gorgeous. We'll turn around in a minute. We should get permission to change frequencies in a minute. Let's keep climbing. There we go. Okay, acknowledge. So, we'll aim for the stadium, use the smart cam, which is this button, and then we'll go to the river. Smart cam for the stadium, then go to the river. So this is going to be a little bit longer flight, but that's okay. Let's head east now. We don't even have, like, a compass. I don't see a compass. I see fuel. I see RPMs. I see altitude, I see any globe attack, I see speed, I see attitude. I don't see compass on here. I guess that's what this is for. <laughs> you purely have to rely on your GPS in this aircraft. There is no old school flying in this thing. This is the opposite, the 172, for the same size-ish aircraft as you can get. You can fly this with a sport license, by the way. Look at that, is that gorgeous? All right, so to get credit for your POIs and your, um, well, any of POI with your smart cam, you need to be 550 yards away, which is 0.27 nautical miles, while you hold the smart cam button for three seconds. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to aim towards this until we get to 0.27, then we're going to hold the smart cam button for three seconds and get credit for it. And then same thing with the animals once we get to the animals. But in the meantime, we are going to look around. Um, if we want to do some really detailed sightseeing, we have to pause the sim, or active pause the sim. So we can take out the drone. You can do the drone without autopilot and without active pausing, but look what happens. The aircraft dives straight down, and you cannot control your aircraft. So, no drone without autopilot. <laughs> This does not have autopilot. That was my point. I love how it's all desert, and then city, and then water. Look at that. All right, there's our stadium. Let's bring back throttle so we can come down and get nice and close and use the smart cam button. And then we'll sightsee outside or through the window after we get credit. So 0.27 is what we need. There we go. 0.27 and counting, so smart cam for three seconds. There we go, we're going right over it. That's more than three seconds. Are we still 0.27? Let me spin around quick. Where are we? We're so close, we can't even see the dang thing. Oh, yes. Let's hop back inside quick. 
All right, take care of ATC. And now let's hop back outside and sight see what we just flew over. Okay, not screwing around. Let's get our thralls back in so we can climb. Let's look out the window. This is part of it too. I'm gonna go find that river, which is over here, and then the draft. So let's look at our map since we don't have a compass apparently. I don't see any compass type thing at all. I don't see a whiskey compass. Okay, we rely on that GPS 100%. Wow. I want the point of this video to be the drafts, and it could take us a long time to get there, so I don't want to keep everything in. Otherwise, the video would be too long, but I also want to share all of the scenery at the same time. So I have a feeling for a while my Microsoft Flight Simulator videos are going to get kind of long, just because there's so much to see, there's so much to do. And even if you have an objective in mind, like finding these animals, Everything in between is awesome too, so kind of hard to decide. So we will rely on that GPS, I guess, to bring us along this river. And eventually when we get close enough to the drafts, the little POI marker will pop in. It's different for every animal. Sometimes it's five miles out, sometimes it's one nautical mile out. But hopefully we'll see something soon. So let's just enjoy the sights, look them out the window, look at that. So just as soon as you're in a city, you're in the desert again. So it looks like we have a decision we need to make here. The deer, or the deer, <laughs> the giraffes, were all 15 nautical miles away from the airport to put us about here. So hopefully we see them before we get to this stuff or else we're just gonna keep going like that, I guess. Um, yeah, shouldn't be much beyond this, I would think. Also, I was reading about this aircraft and apparently um, only about a hundred or so of these been made and there's been several crashes Which out of a hundred is pretty high, but it's all been very experienced pilots who are crashing them apparently The sporty people who the skill of sports license seem to be fine and it's the way the aircraft operates And it can do a lot people think it can do more than a kin or something So that's very fascinating. You can read all about it watch about it on YouTube well, what's that? Is that like a bridge or something? Must be. Or a cliff face. Oh, it's a plateau. That's goofy. That's weird. It's like we're... There they are. Never mind. We're going to find them. Alrighty, so here we go. Let's come in nice and slow. We will get our... Some Markham achievement, which means we have to come down within 0.27 nautical miles and have the aircraft stabilized enough that we can hold this Markham button for three seconds. And we'll unlock that achievement and then we will active pause the sim and then we will um we will go in with the drone and hang out with them like we did the grizzly bears we'll walk around with them and stuff super awesome so again if i go over them vertically super high i assume that still counts in the distance so if i level off now we wouldn't get any closer than a certain amount i think while oh, they're walking quite a bit too look at them we might have to circle around since they're going to go next to this mountain. Or maybe not. Can we do it? Are we going to be within 0.27? I don't think so. Let's see what happens here. Where are they? There they are. So, 0 0.27, 5, 4, 3. There. That's a good achievement. 
There we go. Smart camp for a long time. Do I get my achievement? There it is. Nice. Okay. So, let's hop back inside. And, um... Wow, this is so gorgeous. I want to look at this, too. Look at that. Let's hop back inside and let's get a little bit closer and then we'll hang out with the drone. And we will spend some time with the drabs because they look gorgeous. Where are you guys? Right back here somewhere. Where are they? Right here. There they are. Okay. Boom. That's what we're going to do. Oh, you can see them walking through the trees. That's amazing. That is amazing. I want to test something. If we go up, does that include the, um... Oh, no. It doesn't. 13, 12... Well, maybe it does. Yeah, it does. It's so only got to point... Okay. It only got to point, um... 1-1 one, one because we're high enough that that's how close we were vertically. Even though we were right over them. So let's turn around yet again. Oh, boy. Let's not be statistic here. Jeez Louise. Let's turn around and then we will take out the drone and walk with them. Where are you guys? Oh, they're coming into view because it's stalling. There they are. Okay, here we go. Let's active pause once we have stabilization of the aircraft. Take out the drone and remember my drone controls here and go hang out with the giraffes. Can I go this way? Very cool. Very quiet too. Oh my gosh, look at this. I gotta get ready for my screenshot button here. Will those be acacia trees then? Like in Minecraft, the acacia trees in the savanna. Although you'd think there'd be drafts in Minecraft and there aren't. Okay. Can we go lower? There we go. I don't want that in my way when I see them. Alright, let's see. I want to have a nice green shot of this. Coming around. Look at these guys. Oh my gosh. Nice green shot. Look at that. So much work has gone into these guys. How do I go lower? There it is. Wow. Let's hide in the grass so they can't see us. <laughs> Look at it. Hey guys, hey guys, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, look at that, taking so many screenshots, so if you're wondering what that thundering noise is, I don't think it's thunder, I think what it is, is it's wind gusts, because when we were up in the air too, we had a bunch of wind gusts, I would like that view of them, but not from their behinds. Holy cow. Just look at this. Gorgeous. It's like a painting, isn't it? Isn't it like a painting? I'm taking so many screenshots. Okie dokie. Well, we could spend all day here, but um, it's time to move on. We have a lot more stuff to do, so let's hop back into the aircraft. And it's going to get stuck, isn't it? That's okay. We're inside. This still works. All right. So should we head back to the airport or should we call it a day? Um, let's head back to the airport and land. So undo active pause. Keep the throttles juicy. Now we got to regain control of the aircraft because when you active pause, it does some funky monkey stuff. All right, guys. Well, oh, my microphone. Are they still down there? Can we see them from this altitude? We can. There they are, just under the wingtip. Yay, actually 0.26 even. So we don't have to get that close to objects to count, do we? Whatever. Alrighty. Uh, we're going to take the river back. And we're going to land. So we're going to announce our intentions to land. Are we close enough that we can do that? Here's your port list. Number one. Request full stop landing. From here, Dark Tower Turtles of Tango Sierra. 10515 miles southeast to land. Alright, so we have a little bit of crosswind from the right. And, um, same runway we took off on, of course. So let's see if we can make a little shortcut like this. 
and go over these mountains and head towards here instead of following all the way around, right? We'll just go across here like this, come out over the water, land on runway 22, and um, get an altitude, altitude set here on runway 22, which will be this way, and we should be all set. So I will meet you when we get a little bit closer. All right, so you know that airport elevation is almost 6,000 feet because I took a note of it when we left. So we have to come down almost 3,000 feet. So we're gonna bring back throttles a little bit to descend, but we're gonna keep our attitude the same. Our attitude, we're gonna keep our pitch the same so that we um, keep the same speed. Pitch, attitude, the same, whatever. We're gonna keep the same speed, but we're gonna come down. How come I can't figure that out? The you know, airport is obviously in sight over there to the right. Here is runway 22. It's very long because of that altitude. But we should be fine. And there's the city again if you want to have a peek. I should turn off the POI markers when we're done looking at them, though. Anyway, very gorgeous. Very nice. But we do have an airplane to land. I suppose we just have gear down soon, huh? I have to remember that. There's a flow you use in the real airplane. Like this triangle that you use. Clear to land runway 22. The slight cross the plane right. Alright, let's get gear down now so I don't forget. And then do flaps. But not rudder. I think the, the flow is gear flaps water rudder or something. Gear down, flaps up, water rudder, whatever. Whatever she said in the video for the real aircraft. Something like that. You can watch it for yourself if you want to know. Ooh, what's out there, though? I wonder if people live there or if that's a prison. Hmm. All right, we have about 15, 16, 1,700 feet to come down yet. So we're a little bit higher than we should be. But that's okay. This airplane can do it. Uh, I'm looking for ways, but there aren't any. Even the road others turned on, it's gorgeous. Gorgeous weather. We're gonna turn on the final in a moment, then we'll get flaps down, reduce our speed, but we need a lot of power to land because we're so high. Um, and then long, long runway, so we'll just let ground effects settle us down very smoothly. I'm not worried about landing target. This is not landing practice or landing target challenges or whatever it's called. Um, it's just flying for fun. So here we go, turning on a final. Maybe not, <laughs> maybe not yet. <laughs> we do have to keep descending though. We got 1200 to come down yet. All right, first set of flaps, there we go. Water rudder's up, gears down. I can't remember the perfect V speeds for this, but we'll keep it kinda high. We have plenty of runway. Is that an aircraft waiting to take off? No, that can't be. That'd be hilarious. Uh, we were starting to sink in a hurry here. Our angle of attack is well, in the green. <laughs> I guess that's good. After we learn how to read that thing. I know I should know. I can't remember. Alright, we're really high, but that's okay. We're just going to come down. Long runaway. Plus, we wouldn't want to land so soon anyway, because it'll make the taxi longer. So brevity to get out of the way of everybody else there we go let the ground effects take over there they are and let it float us down there we go come on perfect smooth as silk hit the brakes where's the taxiway out of here it's up there okay. i will um i guess we're gonna what switch up engines and land on the runway 
I did not do that. My engines are still running. <laughs> I just got an achievement that said switch off engines and glide to the runway. Um, I did not switch off my engines. They're still running. Whatever. We're going to go over here just to see new part of the airport. Let's switch over here. Oh. Okay. Contact ground. Okie dokie. We're on the ground, we'll try on taxi, license, land, license, come off, and have license, come off. And we're just going to taxi away to something. Looks like they're waiting for us over there on the right. It looks like they want us to turn around, so we're going to come up here and turn around. Well, there's the beach craft. Carinado said they're going to put all their aircraft into, they're going to report them all. We'll see. They said that for x plane too, and they never did. But if the B-1900D comes to this... Um, sim, I will be, um, I will be using it, maybe. Okay, let's not hit this guy. Whoops, sorry dude, I just didn't want to hit you, because I was outside. Oh, he's not, oh, this guy's going to do it now. Okay, we'll use this guy. We're coming, we're coming, we're new, sorry. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. Watch where you're going, dude. Is he actually going to tell us what to do? Oh my gosh, he is. Whoa, he actually told us what to do. You've got to be kidding me. That was amazing. That was so fun. Alrighty, let's hop down here. Turn everything off. Thunk, thunk, thunk. There you go. Hop over here and turn that off too. And the master probably. I said, and the master. Thank you. Alrighty, let's hop outside. Alrighty, here we are, landed, shut down safely, we didn't run over any ground crew. Hopefully you enjoyed the flight, super simple, not as short as I thought, but that's not the point. Some new scenery around the world, we're going to do more of this stuff, we have several more animals to check out, but that's enough for today. Like, subscribe, leave a comment to play the YouTube algorithm game with me, and um, that's it, I'll see you next time.